Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Ladies, have you ever gone to work and were told to wear a weave? Your afro is unprofessional. Mm. Or, please don't show up to work wearing your natural hair. What? Mm. My God. Can you believe how insulting that is? It's hard yes. to believe that in 2020, lawmakers had to step in to create a whole law mm. about how we wear our hair that grows out of our head and mm. our jobs. Here to help us cultivate the conversation and creating a space for everyone to belong is Sister Intendant of Inclusivity. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the circle. Land of these, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Yay. Absolutely. Sister Intendant, I love Sister that. Sister Intendant of Inclusivity. Mm, 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 okay, so, Randy. I, when Sister Circle started, mm -hmm. I was adamant. I was like, I'm wearing my natural hair. I don't care what nobody say. They could tell you I went through it. I had to grow my color out on TV and everything. <laughs> uh, but I haven't had a problem since 2003. You know, I haven't had any type of chemicals other than the color since 2003. However, it was very, very difficult. Why is it still so difficult for women to accept? Because it's one thing to wear your hair, but to accept that it's okay mm -hmm. in the workplace. Well, listen, that's why, first of all, props to you for going through that it's journey. Tough. That's why I got brains oh, and TV. Child. But, but, but seeing, you, now. <laughs> seeing you helps so many people say, I can do this too. Mm -hmm. But think about it. How many people did you see doing that growing up? Right. None. I mean, none, no. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we were taught in some way or another that our hair, the way it grows out of our heads, mm -hmm. was ugly. Mm -hmm. You know, I think about this like my, my hair is like four different textures mm -hmm. most of our hair mm -hmm. and i'll never forget someone saying to me it's a shame that your nappiest hair is at the front not mm. the nappiest and, the, as if nappy is ugly right you know wow. nappy was our, our you know our curly so mm -hmm. that was always associated with ugly mm -hmm. right yes. Yes. so we were taught that i yeah. mean think about the people with good hair with good hair yeah. right and then it's so funny because you're absolutely right when you're saying taught that because of the conditioning of the mind yes. Some women will literally be like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, I, I wanna be with him because my baby have good hair. Mm -hmm. Have Won't they that? say that? Have you they say that? Yes, yes. yes. Sure. So you have indeed been discriminated against because of your hair. You said that you are tired of being the person that helps the corporations check the box for inclusion and diversity. Mm. Oh, absolutely. You know, I didn't bring myself even into my own job. I'm going around saying, bring your full selves to work. Mm -hmm. And yet I, because I was working for corporate America, mm -hmm. going into corporations, mm -hmm all across the world, which I still do. Yes. But I was wearing pants, so I would seem not as feminine, which is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I would ensure that my hair, because I wear braids a lot, mm -hmm. right? And I would ensure that when I had certain big time clients, I didn't wear braids. Wow. This is the honest truth. And yeah. I tell people, the black hair experience is a journey for mm -hmm. most yes, of us yeah. women becoming comfortable mm -hmm. with however we want to do our hair, yeah. mm -hmm. right? And so <laughs> I just decided that if I couldn't, I couldn't ask people to bring their whole selves yeah, to work if, if I wasn't it. doing it myself, which right. is how I became the sister intended. Like, mm -hmm. be clear, you're bringing a sister into this mm -hmm. environment. I know and that's right. I'm not just gonna check the box, say a few words, say diversity is great, while I'm sitting around not seeing one person who looks like me yes. or clearly is comfortable in their blackness, yes. in their sisterness. Yes. 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 So I wanted to be real about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, I, was, I struggled with that with my hair a little yes. bit. I mean, I, I was very intentional about wearing my hair because about a month or so ago, maybe a month and a half, I was telling my sister circle sisters, I was like, I've just come to the conclusion I can never wear my, my you know, natural hair. I saw that. Yeah, <laughs> and here I am today, you know, Look at God. starting to embrace it. Yes. 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 And it's beautiful. So, it let, let's is. talk about why embracing ourselves is so important and then tell us why the crown Act is so important. Mm. Oh, yes. Well, yeah. For, let's say the Crown Act, because when we started, we talked about that there has to be this law. I want to be really clear only four states have passed a law. Wow. Okay? California, Virginia, New Jersey, and New York. So it is honestly, you can be discriminated against in the rest of the country for the way your hair grows out of your head. So 2020, folks. So let's just be clear how far yeah. we have to go. Shout yeah. out to Sister Circle. Right. <laughs> I, yeah. I have several hairstyles. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. yes. Switch it up. Yeah. But it's, it can be illegal. It can. Someone can legally let you go because of, because your of hair. hair discrimination. Wow. Like hair. Because you woke up like this. Because right. you woke up like this. Right. And, right. and you have a kid like DeAndre Arnold who oh. had, you know, That's is awful. wearing locks and now they're, you know, potentially saying that he won't walk Graduate. across the stage. That's awful. And all of that. Why are other people so uncomfortable 
with our hair. I, I, help me understand non-black people uh, yes. being so uncomfortable with our hair. Okay. If I could get deep with you for a moment. You yeah. we 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 I think it. people are uncomfortable when we own ourselves and feel mm -hmm. empowered. Because we've been stripped of that. Yes. Absolutely been stripped. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so once we show that, you know what? I'm beautiful as I am, mm -hmm. and I don't need to let society define what beauty is. That's kind of threatening to people. Uh -huh. So that's what I think to be really yes. real. Yes. Yes. And we identify, and this is normal human behavior. You like people who look like and feel like you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so. Yeah. Yes, we're going to have a little bit more with Randy B as we continue oh, yes. to yes. talk about the Crown Act and all of this black beauty. Get okay. into it. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. okay, yes. we'll be right back. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 As promised, we are back with Randy B. And I want to talk a little bit about workplace etiquette and how do women of color navigate through? Mm. Be comfortable with who you are. If someone offends you, like touches your hair. Mm -hmm. or Why is says, that an issue? People, Explain to these people. Uh, people are curious. <laughs> and quite mm -hmm. frankly, people think that they are, that, that's a superiority thing, honestly. Mm -hmm. Because you would not touch another human being unless you felt as if you could. Yeah. Ooh. Um, and so they anyone, touch your hair like you're, it, it, like, you're not, I'm, like not an animal. I'm not a pet. Right. Don't touch my hair. Do not do that. And if someone does it, please let them know. Don't do it. Yeah. It's simply. My in a nice goodness. way. Navigating through the workplace as a colored woman. Mm. How do you get up the ranks then? If you want, if you, because we're in a way, in a place where we really feel like I'm okay with my hair yes. and I love me. Yes. But if the other people don't feel like that, then how do you continue to excel in your, in the workplace? I believe that when you own yourself and you have confidence, I truly believe that that goes through. As you know, when people bring their whole selves, mm -hmm. you will be you will be successful. Yeah. Go ahead and do it. You guys are setting the stage. You guys mm -hmm. are breaking barriers. Do it. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm doing. We do, do it, it every set single boundaries. day. Because yeah, it costs too much to do anything else. No key. <laughs> right. To try to be somebody <laughs> else. You're so you gonna get this hair out my skull. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got. Yes, oh. absolutely. Randy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank today. you for yes. having me. Yeah, you yes. took a little bit of knowledge. And <laughs> more Randy's sister talks. Be sure to follow her on Instagram at Randy2 underscores B. We'll be right back. Nice. Oh, actually, we're actually going to say bye. We're going to say oh, bye. We're going to say, say bye. It's all ready to yes. yes. But tomorrow's show is going to be lit, lit. Uh -oh. All right. Jade Nova is going to be down to the Yay. circle. So we're going to have her. I love it. And thank you, Randy B, for thank being with so us. Yes. 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 Happy yes. anniversary. Yes. AKA, she having the Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> thank you, Lena. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so pick a green. <laughs> Happy Thursday, everybody. Have a great day. Yeah.